understand what I'm saying? Blacks and the Latinos in America, we haven't been taught like nation building. You know, we don't know what that even means. You know, we only worry about our immediate family. But see, when I see like you guys, right? My brothers on the corner, you understand? When I see anybody that's of my nation going through any type of hard trial or hard anything, I'm already driven to give my all and help them. You understand? Right. We've been taught to hate each other though. Right. So this is why we're trying to uh, 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 reverse the conditions that my brother actually went through. You understand? I'll start it off with Deuteronomy 28 and um, I'll say this last one because it's serious. You know, it's no joke. They killing us out here. They just, you heard about the woman they shot five times, right? The pregnant yeah, the sister? Pregnant. They shot her sister five times. It's a big old, big white dude, strong. What you, what you fear for your life from a, pre, a pregnant woman? You understand? Our, our women are not safe. And then you got these Edomites walking, these white devils walking around like, well, what's the matter with them? Why are they mad? We mad? Ain't nobody killing you like they killing us. That's right. You but but let, let somebody say something about them fake Jews. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anti-anti-Semitism. Oh, they oh they're racist. Oh, they're black nationalists. You understand what I'm saying? But let the cops kill us on num number record-breaking scale numbers. You understand? That's why when they say terrorists, right? Who who's a terrorist? Because them Arabs, they not terrorizing me. The the ones in Iraq and Iran that they got a problem with that I don't got a problem with right now. As far as this, that I got a problem with the most I come back because they got to pay too. But as far as right now in they war, I ain't got a problem with they war and the, with the white man and them. I got a problem with the cops that are supposed to protect and serve me, right? That's right. They say they supposed to protect and serve, but they don't do that. And they kill sisters like yourself. They and get off. And get off. They shoot brothers. How, how, old is, how old is your son right here with the glasses? How old was Tamir Rice? 15. He was, Tamir Rice was 12. And they shot him. Didn't they shoot him because they said he had a gun or something yeah, like that? They had a toy gun. Had a toy gun. And they shot that, that young man, 12-year-old kid. Don't the toy gun got the yellow at the tip? Yeah. They supposed to know. And they supposed to be trained. They got on the scene and they you know, killed them. You understand what I'm saying? And cold blood. So that's why we out here because you know what we got to start doing? We got to start doing a little bit of what the Black Panthers did, right? We, we got we got something better than what the Black Panthers did. I'm going to tell you why, because I know y'all from Sacramento, so I understand that y'all understand the Black Panther movement, right? One thing, and re the reason why we're a step ahead of the Black Panthers is because we have a law That's to right. govern ourselves. That's under. right. The Black Panthers were trying to be a political party, right? right, right. They were trying to do, they had some good things. They started the WIC program, right? They were trying to feed the inner city. But one thing that they didn't have is a law to govern themselves. But you know what we have to start doing that they did? They police their own communities. You understand what I'm saying? So guess what? If the cops pull you over, all the brothers getting out. We we community watch right here for our communities. Just like Trayvon Martin was killed by George Zimmerman, what was George Zimmerman so, uh, supposed to be? Community watch, right? He was supposed to be watching his community. Now it's time for us to watch ours. So every time the white devils harass us, guess what we gonna do? We gonna pull over and we gonna watch him. We gonna watch him. And now we ain't pulling out no cameras to watch them. We got our guns in our hands to watch them. That's right. Cause ain't that our First Amendment right? right. See, this is the revolution we talking about right here. So now, guess what? You'll feel a little safer, wouldn't you? Right. Well, you know, my black men, they gon' they gonna save me. Right. But you know what? We gotta first get rid of the hate, cause our black men hate our black sisters, our so-called black That's sisters. Right. Our Latino, so-called Latino man, hate our so-called Latino right. sisters. Right. I'm gonna show you. Give me Deuteronomy 28, start at verse 54. The and one. these are some of the curses that my brother broke down so beautifully, right? But I'm gonna show you that it's a psychological problem that we have in the so-called black and Latino communities that we have to reverse. I mean, anytime you have 500 years, no, 200 years of, of, of chattel slavery, and then after that 200 years of chattel slavery, after that, then you got the lynching and stuff that happened after that, you psychologically gonna be hurt. You're gonna pass that psychological trauma to your kids. Why we damage goods? That's why they teach our kids. Why do our sisters wanna be bees and hoes and dancing on poles and stuff like that? They that's learned behavior. You know where they learned that behavior from? It goes back, they learned it in slavery, because you know what the white man, you know what his ancestors used to say? Right. You see how he walking on, here they go. The black nationalists are talking to me now. You know, they be smiling and shit, they you probably gonna wave. Look at that, you ain't Mexican. You know what I'm saying? I can tell that pointy nose, man. I know what's up. You can't fool me. You understand? That's the Latino brother right there. Look, I'm gonna tell you, this is what they used to say. <laughs> Bring it out, huh? Bring it out.
Hey, look, I'm gonna tell y'all something though. Real talk. This is what they used to do. They used to say, you know what? This brother's wife. This the house Negro right here, right? You know, the house Negro was in the house. Slave master used to be like, nigger shepherd, nigger shepherd, right? Come here. I need to go get your rib, your wife. Go tell her to come in here and entertain my company. You understand that? Did you, this man used to have to go get his wife. Right. To entertain men. And they used to, I'm going to be a little bit, a little bit graphic today, but it's the truth. Yeah, right. This is why we right. are so you mad. Right. They don't teach this to our kids. You know what they used to do? What else they used to do? He said, go get your wife and go and go. And not only your wife, but also you. And we're going to have orgy parties right here. Right. Yeah, I'm saying. The, the, this is real history. Right. This is not that we making up. And you know what used to happen? Now, this psychological trauma is passed down. And now our kids are going to go into what type of behavior? Right. Behavior of what? Not respecting themselves and acting out of order in that light. And then we were taught to hate each other. So let's read this real quick. Watch this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you. See, the man used to be tender. When we came over on them slave ships, guess what we was doing? We was trying to fight. We was trying to fight. You understand? We lost that fight. We used to try to fight for our brothers and sisters. We used to be tender, right? But what happened, right? And very delicate. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be evil towards his brother. It says his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. So you know when you see these cowards on Facebook, on YouTube, you see these videos of a sister getting body slammed by the cops, and then you got the brothers like, it's all right, sis. I got it on camera. She just got The brother, the brother that, the brother, the, the brother that recorded the sister that got shot five times. You know what his response was when that sister got shot? He didn't get out the car. He didn't run to her aid. He said, damn, he popped her ass. That's what the brother said. You a coward. But let me dish your hood though. Let me dish your hood. I'm from I'm from LA. You from Oakland, right? Oakland, Richmond, all over there. Let, let us go and dish any of them brothers' hoods. What they gonna do? They pulling out choppers in broad daylight. They gonna empty the whole banana clip. You understand? Cause that's how much they hate. Their selves, because that's the Willie Lynch letter, right? right? But it even goes further than the Willie Lynch letter. It goes to the Bible. Because right. something so deep that my brother brought out to me earlier about the law. Something so deep that my brother and the son brought out to me earlier. Because they actually knew this script. They actually knew this word, and they knew we could take them out because they're disrespecting their gods. Right, right. And one of the things that they did was they turned us against each other because they knew this scripture. They knew we can if they're in sin, we can turn them against each other. Watch. Read this. His eye shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom. Not only towards his brother, but it says towards the wife of his bosom. You a black bee. F you ho. Forget you. FBs. We the only people that make music about degrading our women. You don't, no. see, a, you don't, you, you don't see a Chinese man degrading his women. We see a Chinese man rapping about his, his women on pose. Do you see an Arabic man rapping about women on pole? They women on poles? Yeah. Do you see the white man doing that? But the white man smart. He gonna make the money off of us degrading our own women. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's the highest thing. It's the most popular thing in America is hip hop. Hip hop or rap today. And it's the only thing that is the only race of people that promotes disunity within our sisters and within our brothers. And you know what else they do, Read. And towards the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. That ain't my baby. That ain't my baby. I'ma leave you. Single parent homes. Most of us grew up in single without even knowing our fathers, right? Because they dip out. They have sexual relationships with these women. They get these women and they dip out on their responsibilities as being a man. So you, so you know what they have? You know what we have? I'm going to say it like this. We have a whole bunch of broke women. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. They dip out or the way the system is set up. They have to be out in order for the, the women to get to She knows something. Look at her. She knows. Yeah. You know why? Because the white man said, look, I'll be your daddy. Come on the system. I'll give you what, what you want. You want EBT? You want? I'll be your daddy. You got that? You got that? You got that man in your life? Oh, no. Nope. I can't do it for you. I can't help y'all. Y'all figure it out. But he promote. That's him promoting us. With in, in single parent homes for us. You understand what I'm saying? Or they're in jail. It's like this. It's a generational curse. Right. You understand? Right. Their daddies are not in their life. 
You understand? So what is in the hood? Who, who raised them? Because mama got to work two or three jobs. So when mama come home, she tired. She go get that McDonald's. She say, man, I'm tired. I can't even cook. Here, take this McDonald's, them Happy Meals, and go in your room and watch TV. So TV is just indoctrinating them now. And then as they start to get older, now they're like, okay, we tired of watching TV. We got indoctrinated a whole bunch by that. We tired of that. We going to go outside on the block. And who going to take hold of them? The gangsters going to get them. And guess what? Mama don't even realize because she's working so hard. She trying. She working so hard to provide that she don't even realize what's going on until it's too late. Now you got a 15-year-old monster in your house. You understand? But now that you got a 15-year-old monster in your house, I'm going to tell you what he going to do. He going to go out, get another, because we're going to we gonna get to the, the woman too. Next. He going to go out, get another sister in the hood that's broken too. Hit her, either go to jail, get killed by his brother, or leave, and she gonna raise another son in the same cycle. And the cycle continues. You understand? This is serious. This is a psychological problem. This is why we gotta get out in the hoods and save them. And with that, 